Greetings and hello and welcome and everything. So, uh, I've just been asked by someone to do a quick little tutorial video on how to download the uh, Old Realms Bannerlord mod. So, I'm just gonna do that real quick. Hopefully, this does not consider kind of stealing like the last tutorial video I did. But we'll see. So basically, what you need to do is it's gonna be real simple. So we need to go to the uh, the workshop here. So we're gonna go do that. Bannerlord workshop. You get all the mods here, and here we go. First one pops up. The Old Realms Core Season of Doom. You're gonna see it here. Updated, posted. Everything's all good. So first thing you're gonna do, you're just gonna subscribe. Obviously, and it has everything else right here. It's going to have the Old Realms Armory, the Old Realms Environment, and the Harmony mod. Just subscribe to all of them. Easy as, you know, you click the button. I have the uh, Harmony mod from Nexus, because that's where I first got it. So that's why I just, it's not, you know, checkmarked here. But that's what you guys just need to do. Just checkmark all that. Uh, most sub mods do not work as far as I know there's a couple other mods like the U, uh, the UI extender is compatible so if you want to grab that one go right ahead so then you just go back here to the library and you get ready uh, make sure you go to the properties here and go to betas and you make sure it is version 1.2.11 all right so you're definitely gonna need to have that because that's the compatible version and then you're just going to click play. And that's going to pop up here. Let me... I don't know if it's popping up on this OBS here. I don't think it is. So that's unfortunate. Oh, there we go. So basically then you just go here, click mods. You're going to see a Harmony, a UI extender, have those clicked. All these should be automatic. And then you just kind of click all three of these. And then you just uh, press play. Then when you get into uh, the game, by the way, the game is going to take a long time because of the shaders compiling and everything. So like I said in the episode, it's going to take depending on your system and your computer and everything it could take from 30 20 minutes to like an hour even mine roughly first time booting it up took about 45 minutes so we'll see how fast it boots up usually it boots up faster the next time so we'll see and i'll let you know when we upload that episode uh basically just so you know the same thing if you do realm of thrones as well that one is on just nexus it's on mod db and Nexus, if you just want to Google that, you can get that. It's just one download, download that, and put it in your uh, modules folder. Uh, let me just see if I can find the modules folder here, not try to implement myself. All right, yeah. So basically, what you need to do is you just need to go and go into where your Steam apps are. Go to no, no, no. Go to Steam apps. Go to Common. Find. Mountain Blade Banner Lord. And then you have the modules here. That's where you put the Realm of Thrones mods as well. And then that'll be that. And then once you're in the game, I do recommend changing your settings, like your quality and uh, everything, like the quality of all the images and everything, to just medium. Because it seems to have issues when it's on low for some reason. It needs to be like at least medium. If your computer can handle that if it can't then I should potentially work I believe there's also a shaders thing that I'm not entirely sure how that works I have not looked at it I haven't needed to take a look at the shader stuff that is on their discord page so if you want to go back to their uh, their discord here go to the workshop again uh, the old realms Blah, blah, blah. They do have installation instructions also right here. This is when it gets like updated, I suppose. Do, uh, Google Doc here. They also, it is also on ModDB. There's also the 
Harmony version. It is, like I said, you're going to need that one version of uh, Bannerlord. From what I was playing, unless it's been updated recently, I don't think so. Let's see. Uh, Yeah, let's just search for that real quick. And see if it has been updated since. Because I hasn't updated when I was playing it. But it still works just fine. It says it updated, but you don't really need. So you can just subscribe to it. And you should be just fine. Yeah, updated May 5th. It's going to tell you it works for this version. It, the mod is for this version of uh, the game. The game requires this. It's fine. That should be the only pop-up you get when you play that. So if we go back and I go back to here. And here, and if I press play, that's the message you're going to get. It's fine. This should be the only message you get just warning you that, hey, could be unstable. It wasn't didn't seem unstable to me. I had it up for a bit. But, yeah. So, there we go. There's just a quick tutorial on how to download these mods. Hopefully, I don't get copywritten strict and all that had a channel strike again I just got rid of the last one after like a year or two Ugh, man I missed that Pokemon mod anyway there you go or that's tutorial anyway there you go there's how it is hope you guys enjoyed apologies if this is unneeded but I figured I'd at least throw it out there so uh hope you all have a good one and see ya